in a new poll, former President Donald Trump absolutely crushed the current president in Joe Biden, which means more than likely we might have Trump once again become the president in 2024. But before we get to that polling data, I'm just going to be going over a few statistics to sort of, you know, lay the groundwork here. So first off, I want to say that, you know, just looking back at the last election in 2020, it was, you know, definitely a lot more interesting of an election. We had, you know, a lot of mail-in votes, everything involved with that. But all in all, here are just a few different statistics. So first off, Former President Donald Trump is the first or was the first president ever to actually, you know, run for re-election and have more votes in his re-election campaign than what he had in his previous election and still end up losing. Then, of course, we had Joe Biden, who, you know, by all accounts, I don't think anyone is going to argue against this, is far less popular than Barack Obama was in 2008 when he first ran for president yet he gained almost 13 million more votes than Obama did in 2008. You can say that people hate Trump and that's the reason people voted for Biden, but definitely a pretty interesting uh, you know, uh, statistic there. And yet here we are in 2023 and President Biden has his approval rating right around 40%. So by all accounts, he's not really all that popular or approved upon. It's actually been lower than 40% at certain points in time and only 25% of Americans say that our country is currently on the right track. So really, it's no wonder that only around 40% of Republican voters right now express that they're actually confident in the integrity of our elections. A lot of them wonder if there's any funky stuff going on behind the scenes, whether it's actually at the polls or, you know, whatever it might be. A lot of Republicans and even Democrats for that matter don't really necessarily trust the integrity of our elections. Now, I'm not saying that myself personally that I distrust the elections. I can't really say one way or another. I, you know, I don't know for sure what's going on, but obviously there's a huge issue if we have so many Americans not trusting the integrity of our elections. I mean, what's the future of our country if we can't have the majority of Americans trusting whatever outcome happens to be of the elections, whether their candidate wins, whether their candidate loses. We cannot have a future, that we do not have a future in this country if the majority of Americans say they don't trust the outcome of our elections. If they think they're rigged in some sort of fashion, what's the future in our country, I ask you. Now, once again, I myself personally, I'm not saying that the elections are rigged, that they're doing some sort of funky stuff at the polls or you know, bringing in all these votes at 3 a.m. or doing whatever a lot of people say they might be, whether they're right or wrong. But what I can say for sure is that the media and big tech can certainly play a big outcome on the elections, really either way. So for example, the Hunter Biden laptop story, which would have been dropped, you know, right before the election took place, right before a lot of people went to the polls, that was actually artificially suppressed by big tech in the media. And we have certain polls out there suggesting that if that story had not been suppressed, one in six people who voted for Joe Biden said they would have voted for some other candidate. Now, whether that would have been Donald Trump or someone else, one in six people not voting for Joe Biden, that obviously would have been significant and most likely would have ended up with Donald Trump actually winning if one in six people who voted for Biden actually ended up voting for someone else. So where does that lead us for 2024? Well, just like I said, we have a couple of different landslide polls. So yesterday on my YouTube community page, I asked a question if President Joe Biden is likely to face Donald Trump in the 2024 election that does end up happening. If election day was today, who would you vote for? Out of the respondents, 65% said they would be voting for Donald Trump, 16% said for Joe Biden, and 20% said they're not going to be voting because they don't like either candidate or a third party candidate other than Donald Trump or Joe Biden. So that's a pretty significant result there. 65% for Donald Trump and just 16% for Joe Biden. And then of course we have another poll from The Hill. So according to The Hill, Trump wallops Biden among unlikely voters. So former President Donald Trump outperformed President Biden in a new survey of unlikely voters in a hypothetical 2024 presidential election. The Suffolk University slash USA Today survey released Wednesday polled 900 U.S. citizens ages 18 and older, about half of whom were registered to vote, while the poll found respondents preferred Trump over Biden, 
more voted for either other or undecided. When asked for whom they would vote or toward whom they would lean at this time, 15% of the unregistered voters said Biden, 27.5% said Trump, and nearly 28% said either other, 5% or undecided, about 23%. Another 8% chose Green Party candidate Cornell West, and about 7% refused to answer the question. Among the registered respondents, when asked the same question, roughly 13% said Biden, 32% said Trump, and combined, just over 33% said either other or undecided. A combined 3.5% of the same pool said either West or refused to answer. So basically with Trump you know, winning both of these polls by an absolutely landslide, what's the only thing at this point in time that can keep Trump from beating Joe Biden in the 2024 election? Well, maybe we can just, you know, have Trump completely removed from the polling altogether, not even have him on the ballot in 2024 in the, the primary election for the Republican Party or whenever it comes to the main election in November of 2024. Or maybe we can just have him thrown in prison or maybe both of them all together. And that seems like that's exactly what's happening. So according to CNN, watchdog group sues to block Trump from Colorado ballot, citing 14th Amendment's disqualification clause. So a Washington-based advocacy group filed a lawsuit on Wednesday to block former President Donald Trump from the 2024 presidential primary ballot in Colorado, citing the 14th Amendment's ban on insurrectionists holding public office. In recent weeks, a growing number of liberal and conservative legal scholars have embraced the long-shot legal strategy. The lawsuits from Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington is the first high-profile legal case attempting to use the 14th Amendment to derail Trump's presidential campaign. Trump has denied wrongdoing regarding the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol and said in a recent social media post that there is no legal basis to use the 14th Amendment to remove him from the ballot. And, you know, obviously Trump is probably right in the situation. It's very hard to prove that he had anything to do, uh, you know, with the January 6th attack. But of course, this would be an absolute pipe dream for the left. So here is Democratic Senator Tim Kaine discussing the matter. In my view, uh, the attack on the Capitol that day was designed for a particular purpose at a particular moment, and that was to disrupt the peaceful transfer of power uh, as is laid out in the Constitution. So I think there is a powerful argument to be made. My, my sense is it's probably going to get resolved in the courts. But, um, you know, I think what we have to focus on on our side is, is we just got to win in 2024. So yes, getting Trump disqualified from the ballot altogether would be an absolute pipe dream for the left. And we're likely to have a decision very soon from the Supreme Court. So according to The Guardian, U.S. Supreme Court likely to determine Trump's 2024 eligibility soon. And they say that the U.S. Supreme Court is likely to soon determine whether Donald Trump is eligible to run for president in 2024, the well-respected former federal judge Michael Littage said on Sunday. Some legal experts believe Trump could be disqualified under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. The measure bars someone from holding federal office if they have previously taken an oath to support the Constitution and subsequently engage in insurrection or rebellion against the same. Interpreting that language, Littich and some other prominent conservative scholars have concluded Trump's actions on January 6th and his efforts to overturn the 2020 election bar him from running for president. Other scholars have been more skeptical of a disqualification claim, questioning whether Trump's conduct actually amounted to insurrection. So obviously that's going to be a big deal coming up there. And the fact that Trump actually appointed three of the current Supreme Court justices is obviously probably going to rule in his favor here. But we'll just have to see how all this plays out. Let me know what your thoughts and comments are below on all this situation. But that's all we have for today's video. I certainly hope that you enjoyed. If you did, again, I would greatly appreciate if you could give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you in the next video.